do I look like Phantom of the Opera? I know I don't. I'm an idiot. What's up? It's Chris Young, Gander RV and Outdoor, standing inside the all-new Crossroads Zinger 298BH. I was just checking out the privacy curtain for these double over double bunks that we have right here on the rear campsite and figured I'd have a little fun because this thing is nice and thick, easily slides around, giving the kids or the family members and friends space and privacy all at the same time. Now, the great thing about bunk models, uh, most of the times families get them because they have multiple kids going. But if you're looking for a travel trailer that you want to set up as like a hunting cabin, a deer blind, you know, whatever it may be, these are great because of the space. We got the Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattresses that are plush, fur covered, and you got dual USB charging ports up here. Plus, you got power ports as well. Solid mounted ladder, giving them some security when going up into the top bunks. And then we got power charging ports down there. And if you take a look underneath the bottom bunk, I had mentioned if you want to make this into a hunting cabin, fishing cabin, you know, something like that, not just for the family or for the family, look at all the storage that we have down here. So you want to put your bags down there, your rifle cases, your fishing rods, just to get them out the way, you got plenty of space. Now, if you needed more space, the walk-in pantry on this unit, yep, solid door, can also double as a closet. Because, I mean, look at the space that you have there. Large, deep shelves and plenty of room enough to walk in, hence the walk-in pantry storage. There we go. Look, you can fit a bob in there. Hello. <laughs> That's how we judge the travel trailers is can we fit a bob in them. Coming into the living area and the way Crossroads built the Zingers, they are designed for comfort, space, and storage. You're going to see a lot of that inside these entry-level travel trailers. Shaker style cabinets with brushed nickel fixtures all the way around. Frosted glass inlays too, giving this a residential and very appealing aesthetic. Got your storage shelf up there. Television backer right here. A sound bar built in that has uh, Bluetooth plus USB. Got a little component shelf there. Our convenience center, which lets us check the batteries, the tanks, as well as run out the slides, the awnings, the whole nine. But a great feature in this travel trailer is the Furion 30-inch backlit fireplace. Not only does that look nice when you're sitting down enjoying some time reconnecting with the family, but it kicks out a lot of heat as well. So now you got a 15,000 BTU AC on this thing. You got a 30,000 BTU furnace on this thing. So you're going to do a good job keeping the temperature where you want it. But you want to just heat this area, watch TV with the fireplace. Place. enjoy some time with the loved ones you got a comfy plush couch right here which also doubles as a sleeper surrounded by large panoramic windows wood balances and dark shades plus i got my led lights and if you need more storage you got the lift up leg underneath there some good hideaway space carpeted slide and uh this unit the unique thing about this one the 298 it has a bath and a half on it Yes, a bath and a half. That's why I like this one a lot more than some of the other bunk models. So I'm going to show you the master bath right here. We got the plastic bowl with the foot flush here. We got a storage shelf, a deep single basin sink, plenty of countertop space. Plus, I got a plug right here, some shelves underneath. Got a little shelf right there underneath the sink. And a corner mounted mirrored medicine cabinet with the raised lip right there to kind of help keep everything in transit. And when we're talking about the shower, herringbone pattern on this single surround. I got the extended bar for the shower curtain here, which gives you a little bit more space, but I am not cramped left to right or up and down. These travel trailers already have 81 inch high ceilings in them. Single surround shower, got my faucet right there, my shower handle, good space good convenience, good comfort. And as we come back into the living area, check out, I got doors underneath the U-shaped dinette to give me even more storage. You're gonna hear me say storage a lot, so I apologize for repeating it, but there's just so much in here that you can take those long trips. You wanna do the cross country, you wanna do the week at the beach, whatever, you got the space to do it in here. And we have a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge in here. I mean, that's plenty of space for the family, those long trips. You even have the retractable glass shelves right there. Plenty of room. Come over to the campsite, L-shaped kitchen. Got a nice backsplash. Got the seamless countertop 
with the undermounted deep farmhouse style sink that is stainless steel, brushed nickel high rise faucet and the sprayer handle in there, giving me plenty of countertop space, even have an LED light underneath accent light that could be a night light, that could just be mood lighting, whatever you want. Solid shaker style doors and cabinetry on this. And you're gonna see with all the drawers, solid wood construction, maple, got the ball bearing drives, full extension, Flush-mounted three-burner stove with the glass cover and the grill-style grate up top. Even have the little accent light on my controls right there. Oven. Flush-mounted microwave beside these beautiful residential-style cabinets with the frosted glass inlay. To me, that's just an additional touch that really makes this travel trailer a little bit more roomy uh, or a little bit more homey feeling. But look at the space that we have up there. Plenty of room for your cups, your plates, whatever you want to put up there. For me, it'd be a backpack. Grab and go. Yep, I don't use the things conventionally because when I'm on vacation, it's my RV. I'm going to use it the way I want to use it. Wood inlay right here with the LED lights. And look at the space that we have here on the U-shaped dinette that also converts down into a sleeper. Plenty of room to reconnect, enjoy those camp cook meals, play the board games, the card games. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about reconnecting with the loved ones, disconnecting from all of the stuff that's going on in the world and just reconnecting with the loved ones, getting out and enjoying some time together. Solid wood construction on the slide, solid door walking into the master bedroom, and we have more storage right here, both shelves and shelves down beneath. And I like this area as kind of like a little mini mudroom because you, know, you can put your shoes or whatever down there, you know, the dirty stuff, so you don't track it all into the camper. But we come into the master, we got a solid door here. We got the large bed with the storage underneath that is strut supported. Good spot for the bags, whatever you want to put on there. I got mirrored wards on both sides. There you go, Bobby, I'm gonna open that for you. Plus I got the shelf up top of the bed. I got the extra long nightstand with the power ports. And on the campsite over here, I have a, a dual USB charger. So if you want to charge your cell phones, but you also needed something for a CPAP machine, a reading light, you know, whatever, you got the room for it. The only negative to me was the TV mount is over here on the off camp side. I'm just not a fan of looking across the bed. Now, sure, you can get the swivel arms and that makes it all together. I'm just picky. That's just me, it's just how I am. Got your entry door right here. So if you got family sleeping over there in the bunks or in the living area, you can come and go as you please. They can come and go as they please because they have their own entry point. But right here, the pocket door, you have your own half bath. With a plastic bowl with foot flush, single vanity sink. We have another mirrored medicine cabinet right here. Plus I got some storage underneath right there. So if you're looking for some comfort, some style, I mean, we've got high ceilings on these, even have a vent fan uh, in there. If you're looking for some comfort, some convenience, some style and storage in your entry level bunkhouse travel trailer, I got to tell you, taking a look at this all new Crossroads Zinger 298BH, this is one you got to put on your list because space alone, comfort alone, and it's got a bath and a half, man. Where are you going to find that at this price point? You probably can't. Anyway. We've seen the inside of this travel trailer. What do you say we go take a gander, RV and outdoors, at the outside and see what we have? We might have a kitchen. It's a kitchen. So here we are on the outside of the all new Crossroads Zinger 298BH. You saw how nice it was inside. Let's just take a gander at the outside here. Got ourselves a seamless Superflex roof going all the way over the top. Diamond plated rock guard up front as well to kind of give it not only that rough, rugged appearance, but that helps when the rocks are flying up. Twin 20 pound LP tanks power leveling jacks and power tongue jacks on this unit yes indeed talk about making life nice and easy a whole lot easier when setting up got my solar plug the quick connect right there come around to the campsite got the plastic clip helping me keep my, my door up but take a look at the pass-through storage that we have here that is finished off giving you plenty of space for those I don't know, whatever you want to put in there. If that's your hunting gear, your fishing gear, your beach gear, or it's your bags for when you're traveling because you don't want to keep them in all those bevy of storage holes that we have on the inside. 
as I'd mentioned on the front, how about some power leveling jacks right here, front and rear. That is a nice half. Fold up steps and solid grab handle leading into the master bedroom here. Got a black tank flush right underneath our power awning with the LED light strip spanning almost the entire length of the travel trailer here. Got sealed safety tenant glass all the way around this unit. If you wanted to set up some outside entertainment, got your cable plug and your power plugs right here. Down here, underneath this sealed and enclosed underbelly. We got the freshwater quick drain is down there too. So the fresh tank, if you wanted to do the drain, I like how they got the big white plug right there. And this is your fresh tank fill on the outside here. Now this is a uh, double axle travel trailer. We got the 15 inch aluminum wheels and these are the Dexter Easy Lube axles, which just means they're easy to lube. You take the cap off, put the gun in and boom, boom, boom. Plus that extra wide berth is really gonna help with the suspension when traveling down the road. You're not gonna have that rocking back and forth. That's a great thing about double axle versus single axle that's more stable. Solid steps leading into the main entry with the oversized grab handle that also doubles as a door guard. Exterior kitchen. Now we saw how much fun space we had on the inside. You got a great kitchen on the inside. You got bunks, you got convertible sofa, you got the U-shaped dinette. We got a big awning, dual zone speakers. Why not have a space to do the prep, cleaning and cooking when you're outside? Let's say you got fishing done. Come back, got a great catch. You don't want to clean it up in there because your wife's going to yell at you or your husband's going to yell at you, whatever. Do it out here, cook it out here. You got a little fridge that's going to help keep everything nice and cold and stored. Prep space and storage space up here. When I'm ready to put it away, external just slides right in there. Got the plastic clips helping me keep this up. Bam. External kitchens are so much fun. They add just a whole nother dimension to your travels. Four by four sewer hose storage right there. Spare tire mounted on the back. We got ourselves the arched roof on this. That's really gonna do a good job of keeping the rain, the snow, the elements off of the travel trailer. And those three inch nozzles on the side that are angled are gonna make sure that the elements don't fall on you or the slides. Backup camera right there. That would be the satellite and cable plug-ins. Over here, we got our 30 amp plug stored right there. Pull in, push out. You got external shower with hot and cold, city water connection, tank flush. And right under here are your dumps, your black and your gray. Now this isn't the only dump. Over here on the other side of the slide, this is that living room slide that had the couch and the U-shaped uh, dinette in it. Here are your other dumps right here. Now they're not labeled, so you always just gotta check. Other side of the pass through storage right here, but the most important part of any travel trailer is going to be this info panel right here. For example, unloaded vehicle weight for this one, 7,100 pounds. Gross vehicle, you're still looking at under 10,000 at 96.20. So if you're looking for a travel trailer of that size, you want to take that information to your specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors and ask them, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this right for me? But if you're a family looking for a bunkhouse with a bath and a half, entry level at this price point, I got to tell you, man, this has got to be a travel trailer. This has got to be at the top of your list. The all new Crossroad Zinger 298BH. Just check it out. Only thing I didn't like, TV mountain in the bedroom. That's just me though. You know, and with a head like this, <laughs> your call. Leave me some comments down below though and let me know what you think about this travel trailer. What'd you like? What'd you not like? Because I love hearing from you. I love getting your comments. I'm Chris Young from Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I hope I get a chance to hear from you soon. And please, if you can, click like, subscribe, and notify so when we do a new video, you're the first one to see it. Until then, come check out a camper because they are fun and I'll see you soon.